Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here again. Today we're going to build a register and an adder. So, um, the register is going to hold the output of the accumulator, which is right here. Another register. And this accumulator is basically going to put data into every single component in the CPU. So, we have to have a register on each one of these um, inputs or else uh, if another instruction comes through then it won't hold it so we're gonna get started on that and I have a design that I've been working on I felt like this one was uh, adequate so I'm gonna show you how to make this so you start out by building out a block in that shape and then the top of here then you place a repeater and then we're gonna have a repeater lock so that's how that part's gonna work and then we're gonna have a signal there and then we have our register and that's one cell so to make the other ones, I'm just going to weld at it. So I'm going to do that. There we go. So right here is where we put, where we stack it three times. For however many bits that you have. And that is that register done. So, um, the next part is probably wiring up all these um, right here. So to do that, I'm going to simply go down a level, like so. And that's going to hook up to each one of the, the locking mechanisms. Let me set difficulty to zero. There we go. Uh, I just recently got a server going, so now we actually have world edit, and that's good. So now what we do is we bring these ones down a level, the ones that are above the output of that, and we don't have to worry about this one. Okay, so from here on out, I'm going to make them white because that's what we have in the schematic like that cool and then the top ones are a different story because we're going to be doing something totally different from the bottom ones like so okay and then um, we're going to stack this three times So we should be able to turn all of these on. Okay, so that works. Cool. Now we're going to bring this signal down and make these ones white as well. Just as better identification that this is the adder. Okay. Now. Uh, let's give ourselves some working room. So I'm going to uh, bring these out a little bit. Should be enough to add the components that we're going to need for the ALU. If not, then we can just shift it over a little bit and it should work out just fine. Okay. And then we have this out here. Okay, good. Now we can make the adder. So, this is what we have to do to make the adder work correctly. Uh, we have to make the XOR first, and then at the top there is an AND. And what I'm going to do just to get the carry out, I'm going to have torches all around here so it powers those lines uh, like it originally would if we had it down there. And also, 
it will get the carry line because that's important. Okay, and then we need to build another XOR for the full adder. Don't know if I explained full adder and half adder. If I didn't, the half adder is basically an adder without the carry in function, which is important if you want to link them up. So we have that. Now we have um, the carry line, which goes right here. And this is oaring these two together. So if you remember, an or gate is basically just taking two inputs. And if any of them are on, then you turn on the signal. Okay. So on this side, we need something to block it off because it's basically going to go out of here and into here. So I'm making a nice, easily stackable design here. Like that, and then we get this side, and then we stack it three times. There we go. So we have the adder done. In the next video, we're going to get working on making ALU, which is basically a bunch of logic gates put together. That may or may not take two videos, but yeah, we're going to do that in the next video. If you like these videos, then go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, then I make videos about every day, so go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you later.